Hey there, Soul Giants! It's Michelle here, and today it is the Come Make With Me video where I'm sharing whatever I'm doing, kind of a collab thing. Kind of, I guess. Make along. Um, I am doing a crochet along with my friend Mary. She invited me to do, to learn mosaic overlay, overlay mosaic crochet. Um, it's really fun, actually. I really enjoy it. I might actually make a blanket because that's what I'm working on and I might actually finish it. Whereas I get bored sometimes with working on blankets. Like even this, as beautiful as it is, it was so hard to work on these outer layers because it was like so much to go all the way around. It. But I was able to get it done. But um, yeah, so I'm going across and it's really fun because you start at one end, you crochet across, you tie it off. You start at the other end, you crochet across, you tie it off. You do back loop, single crochets, front loop, double crochets on a row below. And um, it's awesome because it's two rows below. You always do it like into its same color, so that helps. Anyway, it's really fun and it's really awesome and I'm enjoying it. I didn't think I would. My biggest problem and part of why I don't crochet as much is it does it does become hard on my hand and my arm. Um, knitting isn't as hard for me, so. So we are doing this. You are welcome to come join us. I think that'd be way fun. Also, so this is coming out on Tuesday. On Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Mountain time, because you know, in November it changes to standard time. Anyway, um, during my 10 o'clock in Utah, um, I am do, I do a brand new thing that is really fun, and that is a yarn party. And basically, um, you email me and say, hey, I want to come to your party, and I will put you on the list, and you will get a link. I still have like seven or I think eight more spaces available if you wanted to come play with us and you get get the link to come and I'm going to be there for two hours. You don't have to be there the whole time. You can be there the whole time and you can come and work on your projects, crochet, yarn, you know, um, knitting, diamond art, whatever you wanna work on. You can come work on your projects. Um, I usually have a couple um, in case my hand gets tired of doing it or it gets too much for me to think about. Or you can come chat with us. You don't have to work on anything. You can just come play with us and chat with us, talk to us, get to know us. Um, I've always been kind of envious of people who've had crochet groups or knit groups. Um, and I haven't wanted to join any of the knit groups at yarn shops because of the wool that's in the air. So this is my solution is to have an online knit crochet group, which I'm calling a yarn party. Um, as we get going, I might do an evening one. I think that would be kind of fun to have an evening one that people can come in. But I also th think I'm going to try to see if I can figure out a solution where we can have more guests so that you can just come join. Eventually, I might figure out how to do it um, live to YouTube. That came out really weird. YouTube came out sounding funny. Anyway. Um, but that will be when I have some systems in place to help with chats and things like that. So that might be a while. But yeah, anyway, before I show you what we're working on, I would like to invite you to hook that subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments. Um, let me know what you're working on. And are you, have you done overlay mosaic crochet before? Um, and have you done this particular cow? We are doing, um, I think it's mosaic in a month is what it's called. And it's been really fun and I'm really enjoying it. And so when I finish this, I'm, Mary's not going to be done. Um, but when I finish this, I'm gonna think I'm gonna come up with something else. Maybe find somebody who's willing to do a similar project so I can have another person working on something. I really like that fun idea of 
being in something where somebody else is also doing it with me. I may, may design my own something to do. Thought about it and then I decided it was way too much work, but I might do it with the mosaic because that would be kind of fun. So we'll see. Um, anyway, before, so I don't forget, I'm going to put in Mary's picture here. She has been working on it, not quite as fast as me. She also doubles hers, so she, it takes her, you know, twice as many stitches to go all the way across. And, um, you know, we just all have life and stuff. I also personally have extra motivation to work on mine because I am giving it to my friend as a gift. Um, so that's extra motivation anyway so I guess you're like well that's great Michelle but what have you done uh -huh. so um, I have showed you guys before the I'm showing it upside down now so we got the triangle section and then the orange section I did finish let me see if I, can, I can't see what I'm doing hold it up finish the yellow section and I'm that far on the green. I've got like five or six rows left for the green. I have to say, I love the green section. So, yeah. Um, my kids say it looks like a QR code. And I was like, oh my gosh, it would be really fun to take a QR code and make a pillow. Um, so it's probably been done. But it is about uh, five feet wide, um, 60 inches or so across to one side to the other and it's just it's really fun I really like it I didn't love the yellow section um, I like it when it has a little bit more to go with for one thing there's a lot more counting involved in the yellow section to go bigger distances this one once you got your main pattern set up it's a little easier to use the rows below to kind of help you keep track of where you're at at least that's what I do um, so I, but I really, I don't know, I really like the green section. I am really curious about the blue section. The blue section looks like it's going to be very, um, gray. And that the blue is just going to be kind of a highlight. Kind of like how the yellow has got a lot more gray than the other sections does. I think that the blue section is going to be like that too. But we'll see. Anyway, um, my arm is definitely done crocheting for today. It, I'm recording this at like 9.30 at night. Um, so any other yarn work will be knitting. Um, and I do have a big project that I'm getting really close to being done with. So I will work on that. But anyway, I'm excited about this. It's fun. And I just wanted to remind you guys to let your light shine through your creations. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.